What is up, you guys? Welcome to the first episode of WWE 2K22. So, normally, I um, I do other types of games. I, n I normally don't ever do sports games. But I thought, like, this was a game that I bought that I was going to play on my off time. Like, I was going to play, like, off camera. But I decided, why not, why not um, turn it into kind of a let's play? So, um, if you guys didn't know, I do like wrestling. Not maybe not WWE like not as much as I used to, but I do like wrestling. I do like um I do like Rey Mysterio, and uh, let me give you guys a little bit of background on on um what I'm gonna um like what this video is gonna be about. So in in um uh, in the WWE 2K games there are showcases. Showcases are basically like matches from you know it it could be any like. Matches that happen in real life that they um, incorporated into the game. So, like, historical type matches. So, what we're going to do is we're going to play through this whole showcase with um, Rey Mysterio. Uh, Rey Mysterio, uh, like the wrestler. Alright? It's not always, um, like, it could be any wrestler for, um, for showcase that they uh, use. But this year... The cover star for um, WWE 2K22 is Rey Mysterio, so we're pretty much doing matches from his whole career. So we got we got a total of one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 12 matches. So we got we got um, this is the first one right here. They're not in specific order. Like we don't have to we don't have to do these in order. I think we could just do them from um whatever because. Like, I pressed this one, and it said Vamos, which means, like, start. So, I'm guessing we could start it from whenever. But I'm going to start it from, from right here, from this first one. So, we got... I'm, I'm going to read all of them to you out. Like, um... I'm going to read all of them. So, we got... For the, um... This is this is all the way back in 1997. This is a, um... This for... Like, I'm not going to... Like, I'm just going to... You know what? Let me just go through it. Sorry, I went I went a little too fast there. So we got uh, uh, boom, boom, boom. So we got from 1997 to uh, 2020. So let's begin with this um with this first one here. We got um Halloween Havoc, like WCW Halloween Havoc, back in 1997 for the um for the Cruiserweight Championship. So we got Rey Mysterio Jr. versus Eddie Guerrero. Now this match um. Before I begin, like, this is a five-star classic right here. If you guys have never seen this match right here, I definitely recommend you guys check it out. But you guys are going to see a little bit of it in this because of the, um... Like, I think there's, uh, actual in-game footage. I mean, uh, not in-game footage. I mean, obviously, but, um, actual real-life footage, I mean. And, um, when you, when you do, like, some of the stuff that, um, that, uh, that happened in real life. Because you got to... You gotta do some moves and stuff, and I don't know, I'm yapping on too much. It's gonna be a long intro. But before I do that, I'm gonna play the intro. Alright, so, here we go. In a universe populated by monsters, giants, and larger-than-life beings, I was determined to find my own path to the top of the mountain in sports entertainment. I wasn't gifted with superhuman size or strength, but I did have an insatiable thirst to learn. The physical gifts to take to the air and an uncle who was more than happy to give me the tools needed to become one of the greatest competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. Starting my career in Mexico, I'd be known first as La Lagartija Verde, which means the green lizard, and Colibri, hummingbird. Still a teenager, I would eventually earn the highest honor from my uncle as I was officially crowned Rey Misterio Jr. I would take everything I had learned from my uncle and make it all my own. I would bring Lucha Libre to the world stage. I would make cruiserweights as popular as our heavyweight counterparts. And I would prove that a cruiserweight could win it all as long as they were given the opportunity. I would arrive in America first stopping in ECW before garnering the attention from the top people at WCW who quickly signed me to a contract. With my foot in the door, it was just a matter of time before I took over the world of sports entertainment. Every step, a battle. 
Every opponent, a new face who felt they were superior to me. Every match, giving me a new objective to strive to meet. Should I try to weaken their legs? Throw all of my aerial techniques at them? Maybe surprise them with some defensive lucha libre? Take it to the outside? Show off my newest move? By the time I got to the ring, I always had a little mental list of things I wanted to try in order to win. And with every victory, I got another reminder that the best was yet to come. After winning WCW's Cruiserweight Championship, Cruiserweight Tag Team Championship, and the World Tag Team Championship, I would finally head to WWE to further build my legacy. In the near 20 years since I debuted in WWE, I have become known as quite simply the greatest luchador in sports entertainment history. The greatest master superstar of all time. Ray is the king. Having competed against every big name possible and having defeated nearly everyone that stepped in my way. Not every road is paved with gold, and mine was no different. But even when the road gets challenging, there's always opportunity. The opportunity to learn from mistakes, to grow as a competitor, and to get better. I may not have had my hand raised every time out, but there's never been a time where I didn't leave the ring better than when I entered. Alright guys, so there's the intro. Um... I just wanted to show that before I begin this um, this showcase. So here we go, guys. Five Star Classic from 1997 against it. one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, Eddie Guerrero. So let's begin. Vamos. Let's go. There the we go. Behind the infamous match of Halloween Havoc 1997, which I truly believe is a match that put me on the map. Right. I was a big fan of Eddie growing up, so to be able to forward all these years and then eventually share the ring with him was incredible. It was an honor for me to face one of the Guerreros. Overall, that match was highly important for me. The fact that I could become Cruiserweight Champion that night and defend my mask, not have to be unmasked. You know, that was something that was really in the back of my mind. I just didn't want to go through that. They were trying to take off every luchador's mask one by one and i was on the list so you could only imagine the stress that had built up and for us luchadores it's a very prized possession you know this is something that i've carried since 1992. we both know eddie and i what the mask means to us that carry it so he knew what was at stake i would never give him the satisfaction of taking my mask never Yeah, I think Eddie Guerrero was a um, a heel at the time. Which, for you guys that don't watch wrestling, a heel basically means a bad guy. Here we go, first match. So, all right, I, I don't, I don't like. I think it's showing us this because I didn't complete the tutorial. But I play showcases before, so I know what's up. So we basically gotta just, you know, do the menu. You gotta start perform a light combo on Eddie. All right, while you're in the ring. Oh. Stay on him. Get him in front of the a light grappling attack. All right. Woo! Oh man, we're so hot already. Damn! Look at this. I, I like the way it looks, man. Look at Eddie Guerrero, bro. It just looks so great. Like if you guys don't know Eddie Guerrero, who sat like he was one of the definitely one of the greatest wrestlers to ever ever lace up a pair of boots. Sadly, he passed away. And um, look at this. Woo! Look at that. I figured Eddie wouldn't see this coming. I have to be able to take some pain to dish out some more. He sadly passed away in 2005, guys, from, um, um, I don't know, a heart failure. But this is what I meant when I, um, when I, when I said that there was going to be, uh, yeah, real life footage that, in this. Always thinking, always a step ahead of me. I just knew what was coming. I just felt a little, a little too uh, confident, you know, and, uh. He took me out viciously. Ooh. You know, at the end of the day, it felt like this was just a nice reminder that it wasn't just a match. You know what I mean? I mean, Eddie was trying to stop me that night as I was trying to stop him. He wanted to take it all away from me, and I could not slip on that fact. Look at this, man. 
You know, that, that slingshot sent on that Eddie always does, it's beautiful to see when you're not on the receiving end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> being on the other end of that sent on. And seeing him taunt me, you know, it kind of boosted me up. It fueled me up All right. to keep going. Let's see what match. you got with Eddie for the fronting. Wait, what? Oh, man, I got... That's right. I got hit right there. Oh, all right. In front of a running... Wait, a grapple. Oh, wait, a running grapple? Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's not a running grapple. That's like a more of a running attack. So, a running... All right. I'm trying to figure this out. Oh, man. I'm getting beat up right now, and I haven't even done anything. All right, let me see. Oh man, I forgot. I know it looks like I suck at it, but give me a chance. I need a, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I never, like, it's crazy. I never do these types of games. All right. Gotcha. Ooh, all right. All right, so a running grapple. Oh wait, that wasn't a, all right, I, I think I know what to do now. Like that? Alright. Don't let up. Do some big damage on Andy whenever you're... Okay, so we basically just have to hit him. No, no, no. Boom. Woo! Look at us. We're doing good. Alright, top rope. Here we go. Oh! With the splash and I miss. Oh, big, big arm right there. Big, big fist. <laughs> Right. Hurricane Rana. Here we go. Right, I'm gonna put him on the ropes. And a drop kick out to the ring. Alright. Try to trap Eddie in the corner and perform a light corner grapple. Alright, before we do that, that's oh, what are you doing? Oh, I missed. God, I hate when um when I do that. Like I always miss. All right. All right, throw me back in the ring. All right, come on. Are right, you just messing around now? I think. Get off me, man. There's no more reversals in this. You gotta match um you gotta match the button here that uh, your opponent uses. All right, so we got some light grapples. Trap Eddie in the corner. How do I trap him? I don't think it said put him in the corner. I think it just said trap him in the corner. Boom. Ah, oh, he reversed it. Oh my god. Come on. And of course I missed. Oh, I gotta watch out. He's gonna hit me with a frog splash. Gotcha. Ain't gonna get me. Ain't gonna get me. Alright. The corner. Let's see if this works. I think so. Okay, I think I think this is it. Here we go. Woo! Hurricane Ron. Some type. Of, no, it wasn't a Hurricane Ron. It was more like a flip type thing. All right. He's stunned. Oh my God, bro! Drag him into the corner. Damn. All right, guys, I think we figured this out. I, I was taking a little too long on it, so we got to press circle, and then we got to press... Oh, wait. Ah, oh, I messed that up. Dang, Eddie. God. All right. So, of course, we're going to drag him, right? Drag him to the corner. I didn't realize how to do this. We got to press square. There we go. There we go. We did that. So Eddie's reeling. I think it's time for you to get him stand, uh, standing gaze against the ropes. Alright. Well, let him beat me up a bit. While I was reading that. Alright. Oh, alright. Alright, now we gotta do this crazy 
um, backflip sort of thing. Hopefully I can remember how to do it. I was watching a video on it earlier. Because I know these, uh, I know some of these, um, some of these objectives are like crazy stupid and you can't like figure some of them out. And I guess people are having a hard time doing the backflip thing. Against the ropes. I think I did it. I think I did it. Here we go. I did it. I did it. Backflip DDT. There we go. All right, we got to do an Irish whip now. Boom. Here we go. Drop kick out of the ring. Ooh. One thing that I felt during this match is I kept Now this move was crazy. I remember I remember when I was watching this match. Oh, got out of the way. You're trying to catch your breath. While you're on the floor. Wait, was this the one I was talking? Was this the part I was talking about with the? Uh... I hope it's the right, the right move that I'm talking about because it looks familiar. Like this uh, footage. I haven't seen this match in a while though. I just remember it being like really good. He does like Rey Mysterio does like like some crazy flip type thing. Yeah, I think this is. Oh no wait, this isn't. I don't think it is. Oh, he's trying to rip off the mask there. If you guys don't know, in um in Lucha Libre, like removing a, a mass wrestler's mask is like very like disrespect like trying to take it off is like already disrespectful. But like like if you like that's like the highest honor like like that's the um, the most important thing we could take from you like a mask like if you lose your mask in wrestling like that's it Most wrestlers never get it back uh, Rey Mysterio he actually did lose his mask at one point in WCW but um he was uh he was gifted like he was granted permission um to get his mask back All right this is father's move right here the gory bomb or the gory hold or whatever that's all. It, it looks like it. I don't know. I could be wrong. In the span of three seconds, I took one of Eddie's yeah, the gory special. Okay, I was right. And kicked out of it. All right. So it wasn't the move I was talking about. I get a drop kick on the back of my head. I was starting to really wonder if I'd be able to win this thing, and was really getting desperate. Oh, uh, here we go. He's gonna go for the frog splash. We gotta reverse it. He, I don't think he's gonna reach it though. Oh, he did! Oh, man. He did reach. Uh, he did reach. I don't know why I didn't go for the pin there. Right. Oh, he stepped on my face. Right. We got to damage him more. I think the move I was talking about is coming up. You guys are going to see. He does his, like, crazy flip. All right, there we go. And another DDT. Oh man. Attack from everywhere. Launch Eddie. Launch at Eddie while he's standing. Alright, cool. Oh my god. Oh, I think I busted open. We gotta do a diving attack while he's. There we go. And we damaged him too. Right. There we go. Check the complete. Now mix it up, grab, all right, a grab combo. All right, that, I guess, I'm guessing that wasn't it. All right. Get your ass out of the ring. All right, one, he's gonna get counted out, but we don't want that. Oh, Ooh, that was nice. I'm gonna just wait for him to get in the ring. God, man, he really does love to take his time. Come on, get in. Alright, we did that. Alright. 
Get Eddie, get Eddie back into the corner and... Okay, I got you. Alright, here we go. Alright. Look at him go, man. Ooh. I remember feeling the place while I was sitting on the top turnbuckle in a tree of woe. But I managed to shake off what Eddie was about to hit me with next. Look at that grin on his I face, man. Everything in my so evil. <laughs> now. Woo! And, and I got hit. I'm glad I listened to myself. Got caught in the jewels, man. Some of my top signature moves is flying over the top rope onto the floor. You know, and I felt like Eddie had an answer for everything. Oh, all right, this all right, all right. Thank goodness. I think that was the move I was talking about earlier. No, no, no. There's, there's a certain move that he does that that I that's not the move I was talking about. My bad. It was like through the ropes or whatever, and he did like this hurricanrana thing, like on the outside, I think. I don't, I don't know if they show it yet. They, they might not have gotten to that part. There we go. Irish whip. Reversal. So many victories. The runner. I remember there. looking at for one, two, two. Oh, kick out. out. I'm thinking to myself, what do I have to do to beat this guy? Oh, all right. Bring awareness. Respect. All right. Oh, he's going to go for the frog splash. Or any splash, period. You know, he's gonna go for that Hurricane Rana thing he does again. Oh, well, he did some kind of... <laughs> he hurt himself in the process. Some sort of, uh, there we go. You got an instant. Oh, let's take it outside. Use the hammer throw. Alright. Alright. That's not gonna work. Alright. Let me see, how do I use the... Hold? Okay. So that makes sense. All right. Catch Eddie while with a running dive. Oh man, it's not working. All right, we'll do it on that side. I think this is the one I was talking about. Oh come on, dude. Oh man, what is he gonna hit me with now? Another power bomb. All right, power bomb. Oh man, he's gonna go for the frog splash. We can't let him. Oh come on, Eddie! Please don't don't pin. Oh my goodness! Oh, we got it! We got it! Okay, okay. Oh, oh my God! I did not want to start over again. I'm sorry for screaming. Reversed it. Woo! Kick out. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for screaming. God, man, this guy is tough. I'm telling you, he he's tough to beat. I'm having a tough time beating him. Thank you. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. You, you can hit a diving attack while he's in the ring. I just did one. All right, I gotta do another one, I guess. All right, diving attack in the ring while he's standing. Got it. All right, there we go. One of the most vicious moves that I've taken from other wrestlers, Ooh. Eddie. Being a master at this, the power bomb. Yep. I just God, look at that. One, two, and I said, "Here's the time to kick your shoulder up," and did everything I could to break the count. All right, <laughs> whatever you say, Ray. We all know it's scripted. It's not fake. It's scripted. But still, though, man, you you can't you can't you can't talk shit about these guys. Look at these dudes. These, I don't care. I don't care what anybody says about wrestling. It may be scripted, but it, it's it's damn good. Especially like stuff from this era. Especially these two guys. 
Whenever I hear somebody say wrestling is fake, no, it's not, man. It's scripted. There's a difference. It's like a movie, man. Take, take for instance, Jackie Chan. He does a lot of crazy stunts, right? It's scripted, right? It's a movie, right? But it's real. I think that's just because of the styles. We were very similar in styles. But this move right here, the backbreaker, very here we go. special in Ooh. All right. Right, he's signaling for the for the splash. Here we go. Oh, moved out of the way. Oh, all right. Kind of reversed it, but no, no, no. I'm, I'm on the ground. I mean. Again, we go back to the famous power bomb, which in this case, I was. Literally standing on the top rope. Oh, oh my goodness! And he had me in a splash mountain move when the only thing I could think of at that point hook him into a rana. Hurricane rana. Exactly oh, I, I remember taking him down three. Got it. And I hooked that one leg and then I just pushed my weight forward and I just heard the one, two, three. And he won the championship and he kept his mask. Finally, God, you guys have no idea, how bro. I started this. I started this match. Um, let me shut up. All right, <laughs> I wanted to. All right. So I started this match like an hour ago. It's 9:25, and it took me like an hour to do this freaking match. Oh my God, I'm I'm gonna cut out most of the footage, but just so you guys know, it, it's been a minute. All right. Alright, so we unlocked Halloween Havoc, the Cruiserweight Championship, Rey Mysterio Jr., and Eddie Guerrero. So that's cool. Let's see. Let's move on to the to the next match. I think I might do two matches per video. That way I could save time. Then I could film a, uh, a bully video. I've sat and watched that match. I actually watched it not too long ago with my son Dominic. And it's a match that I still learn from. And, you know, it's a match that doesn't get old. It really doesn't. Such a classic, man. I truly believe that if there was no Eddie Guerrero, my career would have gone a different direction. Eight years after our epic Halloween Havoc clash, Eddie and I were on better terms, but right. still found ourselves unable to resist the friendly competition in WWE. Holding the WWE Tag Team Championships only drove us to wonder who the better man on the team was. We both held victories over the other, but the chance to meet at the showcase of the Immortals, WrestleMania, was something we couldn't pass up. For the first time ever, two tag team champions would go one-on-one -on -one at the grandest stage of them all. We both knew what this match meant to the other, and it's what made it so fun to go out there and try to take the glory for ourselves. With no hard feelings, of course. Hey, I don't, I don't. I couldn't even answer you that guy, that one. Like, who's better, Rey Mysterio or Eddie Guerrero? Like, there, there's no contest, man. Both of them. They're so like, they're both great performers. All right. Fast. All right, cool. So this right here, this is WrestleMania. This is WrestleMania 21 in 2005. Unfortunately, this is um, Eddie Guerrero's last WrestleMania because later that year he would pass away, sadly. Right. So this is like eight years after. No, no, no. Eight, yeah, I think eight years after uh, Halloween Havoc. And again, we're facing Rey Mysterio. Here we go. Oof. DDT from Eddie Guerrero. All right. Let's see what we have to do. So just so we pretty much just have to do combos, I think. Boom, drop kick to the chest. You see. Oh man, I didn't want him against the ropes. Look at Rey Mysterio, he's gotten a little fatter. Alright, All right, I guess Eddie's just gonna chill. Drop kick. 
Hopefully we can get this match done a lot quicker than we could uh than we did uh Halloween Havoc. Oh he reversed it. Oh man. Oh I could have reversed that one but I didn't. Oh he's gonna pin me. Kick out. Alright. Hopefully this showcase isn't as hard as um freaking 2K19 man. That showcase sucked. I hated that. Like, I, I used to play that on my off time, and, um, that freaking Randy Orton match on Monday Night Raw, that, that match sucked. I hated that match. The John Cena one was hard, too. I never, I never beat that one. After that, I gave up. Alright. So, we got a signature. I still haven't even done the first objective. Alright. God, man. WrestleMania 21. I think I was, like, four years old. Four years old at the time. I know, I know, but the the year before Eddie Guerrero was um, WWE champion, actually, he uh, had a another five like another great match. I wouldn't say a five star classic, maybe a five star classic against um, against Kurt Angle for the uh, WWE championship. And I don't remember what Rey Mysterio did that night. Like, come on, come on, come on! I gotta get back in the ring. All right. All right. So, boom, boom. So we did one, now we gotta do another one. It's taking us like so long to, all right, one, two, and another suplex, two, got it. All right, switch things up, perform a, a light running attack on Eddie while in the ring. All right. all right, we'll get up. First we gotta get Eddie to get up, all right. All right, there we go. You're doing great. Now I just Eddie into the ropes, all right, cool. I actually never seen this match. I know who wins, but I actually never seen it. You I gotta watch it. Always said that it was always very cool to just compete against Eddie with all the extra personal stuff. Eddie has always had my respect. You know, oh yeah. Eddie, a year removed from being WWE champions, everything he did was so flawlessly executed, like to the T. I knew this was going to be something special and another test that was yet to come. There we go. God, man, Just Eddie Guerrero's like Things Eddie. Get out of <laughs> Let me shut up. No Eddie Guerrero's like 37 right here. So comfortable, and once you least expected it, there you go over the top rope. He take you out of your comfort zone. I take this back to Halloween Havoc. Yep. I try to get fancy with him. He pulled me off the apron immediately. So this time, I made sure I ended up on top in the ring when I wanted to show up. I believe if... Quick second, live and learn. All right. Correct? Oh, oops. I believe if Eddie Guerrero lived to C45, man, he'd still be moving like he would, uh, like he normally does. Like, he was just that good, man. I feel like Eddie Guerrero probably would have retired at, um... In ring competition, maybe like in his like late forties, definitely, or maybe early fifties. You never know. It, it's what could have been, honestly. Like he's such a like I never got to see him perform like while he was alive, but I've seen a lot of his um a lot of his matches, and I like he's definitely one of the greats, hands down. That's crazy, man. I really wish I was alive to, um, well, I really wish I was old enough to see him while he was in his, um, while he was alive. Oh, damn, I busted it open. Busted him open. Alright. Form a light grapple. And keep one step ahead of Eddie. Alright, cool. Oh, three amigos. Alright, I gotta be careful, because he could hit me with a frog splash if I'm down. Three. Oh, I missed. All right, two. Kick out at... Not even two. Kick out at one. Alright. Alright. Reversed it. Boom. Gotcha. Bulldog. Got it. Right. Form a light grapple. Oh, where are you going? Right. 
so let me see. Alright, got it. There you go. Now unleash a big running diving attack while Eddie's standing. Alright, cool. Alright, get up. Wait, oh, a running... Wait, how am I supposed to do that? No, that's not while he's standing. A running diving attack. Uh, I gotta figure it. Let me see. Let me see what it says right here. Oh, okay. I, I, I get what you're saying. This thing's not specific. It tells me like a running diving attack. How am I going to do a running diving attack on the top rope? Stupid. Alright. Oh, he threw me out. And let me see. Alright, press square while I'm standing at ringside. Oh, at ringside. I'm stupid. I didn't even read that part. I read inside the ring. I'm stupid. Alright, there we go. So just like Halloween Havoc, we pretty much got to get out, Eddie. Get out. I got to get him out. Alright. Now I got to time this right. Hopefully stupid Rey Mysterio doesn't go to the top rope. Alright, come on, G. I got to... Oh my god, what am I... Get down. Dude, oh my god. No, that's not what I want to do. Bruh. Eddie Guerrero is literally standing there not doing anything and you want to... <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> and then he's just dancing. Alright. This is the same thing that happened when I was doing the Halloween Havoc match. He did not want to freaking... I gotta get him out again. Bulldog. This is gonna be a long video. I gotta edit. I gotta really edit the Halloween Havoc one to make it look good. Alright. Bro, what are you doing? Just hit him. Bruh. Oh my god, Rey Mysterio. Look at this shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a terrible match. Like, I'm not talking about, like, just the end game one. It's, like, terrible. Like, these controls are so, like, some of them can be, like, bad, bro. Alright, let me see. Alright, get out. Why do I have to hit him, like, three times in order for him to get out of the ring? Just get out. Damn. And then the freaking ref's in the way. Oh, my God. Alright. I gotta hit him again. Jesus. Alright. Drop kick. Alright. And I'm only gonna do this once. Finally! Thank you! Alright. Don't let up. Front attack Eddie while you're at ringside. Oh man, he reversed it. Alright, there we go. Right. Kick to the back of the leg, into the ring. Oh, stop the minute tracks. Always powerful, and maybe this match felt a little different, but it was always the same old story. Right. He always had an answer for everything. I should have seen that elbow coming, though. He caught me pretty good. Oh, another one, another three amigos. I to get into that flow right here. I needed to make sure that I didn't let him come through with this. Oh, roll up. All right. Kick out. No, I figured reversing the three amigos would shake him off for a second. But Hell no. Phased them. Hell no. Bam. Another backbreaker. Eddie Let's always finds out. a way, man. Eddie always finds a way. Kick out. Yeah, you can see him starting to get frustrated. Again with the three amigos. Signature man, such a classic move. 
Suplex. And he's going to go for the third one here. And does he get it? No. Reversed. I honestly thought that escaping the three amigos for a second was my chance. Oh, here we go. 619. When I managed to whip Betty into the ropes, I saw the opening. And I Dialing it up. Like Revert. Well, not reverse. It moves out of the way. But again. Oh, backbreaker. Always Eddie. He knew. And Two. Kick out. Ring awareness. Another backbreaker. I was really wondering if this was just not going to be my night. Yeah, he's not lying. He does have a lot of great ring awareness. All right. Eddie's in control. You got to get back up. Oh, man. He's going to go with the fog splash. Oh, he hit me with it. Oh, wait, that wasn't a frog splash. That was just a regular splash. But this is going to be the frog splash. All right. Got out of the way. Oh my god. I think that's uh that's an electric chair, that's what the movie's called. Alright. Alright. Diving attack while he's down on the ring. Got it. Now we just gotta do this one. I'll do another one just cause. Here we go. Drop leg drop or whatever. Right. Boom. Boom. Right. Heavy combinations. Alright, cool. Oh, man. I couldn't reverse that. Alright. So, heavy combos. Gotcha. Damn. Alright, let me see. Alright, I don't think... Uh, let me see. What's a heavy combo? Freddy. I mean, for... um. Ray Mysterio. Okay, so heavy combo is basically like anything with an X. Gotcha. Oh wait, so so boom, boom. Gotcha. All right, there we go. It's Eddie's turn to feel the heat. A front running grapple. That's not a grapple. All right, get up, Eddie. So I gotta do like a running grapple. Oh, I got it out of the way. What is this? Oh, another power bomb. Oh my god. Kick me in the chest. Or well, in the stomach. Dude, I got like three finishes ready. Oh man, I could I really could have reversed that. Why didn't I? Three amigos yet again. All right. Got it. Kick. Not even at one. Let's go. All right. You're not gonna get me. All right. Come on. You might as well just come down, dude. I'm not gonna. All right. There we go. Oh. Here we go. 619. Boom. So it always feels good to hit the 619. But here, when I finally connected, it felt really good. I said, let's Damn, go. Damn, his mouth's bleeding. This is going to be it. You know, I was so close to victory. I'm ready for the springboard. I jump off the hook for the Rana. And oh, powerbomb. Two. Kick out. That power bomb again. Just brought flashbacks. I've already been here. <clears throat> I knew what this was all about. So again, kick off on instinct. Purely. At this time, your mind is doubting, and you have to make sure that you stay on track and you finish the task at hand. Yeah. But then, for the first time in the whole match, I knew exactly what was coming. And he went for the backbreaker one more time, which he already done before. Ooh. And I made him one with the perfect three. This guy. All right, I gotta, I gotta let out the music.
Alright guys, so we unlocked WrestleMania 21, Rey Mysterio, and uh, another version of Eddie... Well, we unlocked Eddie... Like, the the last version of Eddie Guerrero, and I, I don't know what that last part is. So, yeah, alright. So, I think that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to do, like, a quick... A quick little video. So, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just stop it here. I gotta... I gotta I'm gonna be honest, I got a lot of editing to do, so... Um, I gotta... I might as well just... Like, this should be, like, 20-ish something minutes, 20-something, maybe 30 minutes, so. Uh, this video is probably going to go up today. I have, like, one video already ready, and then I'm going to do this. So, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Peace out.